Epilepsy is a very tough condition to live with, and despite treatment, many patients often still have seizures. But now there, though, is a new way to warn patients' families before there is trouble. Dr. Malik Marshall shows us. <laughs> Leonor Cologne's 12-year-old son, Golly, has suffered from seizures all his life after having a stroke at birth. Even on multiple medications, he still has a seizure a week, usually at night, and Leonor fears the worst. My biggest fear is if I'm not there to help him, um, that he will, when I'm going to wake him up, he will be dead from seizures. A scary but real possibility. Dr. Toby Laudenkemper, an epilepsy specialist at Boston Children's Hospital, says among the sickest kids, the risk of death from seizures can be as high as one in a hundred. They can happen at any time point, uh, for example, at night when nobody's there and nobody's watching. But soon somebody or something will be watching. The so-called seizure watch doesn't tell time. Instead, it detects rapid arm movements that a patient undergoing a grand mal seizure might be having and increased sweat production similar to a lie detector test. The watch was tested on up to 200 children and adults, including Golly, at both Children's Hospital and Brigham and Women's. And so far, the results are good. Watches in, in general very reliable in the high, the sensitivities in, in, in the high 90 percentages to pick up generalized tonic-clonic seizures. Just also called grand mal seizures. But Dr. Laudenkemper uh, hopes the watch can identify uh, more subtle seizures through its sweat detectors. And One of the only drawbacks? When we put the watch on children in the monitoring unit, there were some false alarms due to patients playing video games. A small downside given the huge upside. It gives me a peace of mind that I know while I'm sleeping and he's sleeping, um, the watch is going to alert me that he's having it. And and I could just run to him. This work is, is really triggered by some very personal experiences uh, of patients calling my office uh, telling me that their child died in sleep from seizures. And I dread these calls. I don't want to get any more of those calls. And we're working very hard to prevent those calls. Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News. And if the clinical trials continue to go well, they hope the seizure watch will be available in about a year or so. Now, the research is being funded largely by charitable donations. And if you'd like to support this project, you can go to our website at cbsboston.com to find out how.